In this tutorial, I'll show you how to batch ban in subtitles to multiple videos in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, the ability to batch ban in subtitles to multiple videos has been made available in Subtitle Edit 4.0.6. So if you're not using Subtitle Edit 4.0.6 and beyond, you need to download it and use it now. Uh, I'll show you a couple of ways and uh, scenarios where you can use this is when you have a ton of videos and respective subtitles. So I do have videos with the respective subtitles uh, that I want to ban in, but I don't want to keep banning in uh, one video after the other. So uh, that's where the batch banning mode comes in. Now to access it, you need to go to video, generate video with banned in subtitle. Now, once you do that, you'll be met by this particular interface. Just a quick note, if you're working or already have a video imported, let me just open one video. If you have a video here uh, and you go to video, generate video with band in subtitle, you'll see batch mode right here. So I uh, don't wonder where the batch mode is, it's right here. Uh, but for this video, we are going to work uh, without a video in our subtitle edit preview and just assume that we just want to batch ban in subtitles. So I'll go to video, generate video with band in subtitle. And from here, you can set different parameters of what you want your subtitles to kind of look like. So uh, it's good that we also have an addition to have some bold subtitles and also an outline. Now, I'll leave everything as it is. But one important thing you need to note is that here at the resolution section, you need to make sure that the use source is selected. And if you click on these three dots, you'll see that particular option here. And what happens is that depending on uh, the resolution of your videos that you add here, they should be able to uh, actually be encoded and subtitles band into the videos with the resolutions that you have set here. Uh, so if you have a different resolution or specific resolutions you're working with for your videos, you can also select that from here. But for this video, I'll leave it as use source resolution. And once I do that, I'll just click on add and navigate to the folder with the videos I want to ban in the subtitles. Now, one thing you'll notice is that in the folder, I have the subtitles. So what happens is when I select all these three videos and click on open, they're going to automatically get the video and you'll see the resolution of the video and then you'll see the subtitle file. The video, the resolution, subtitle file, the video, resolution, subtitle file. And I feel uh, this is something that is really, really awesome. Now, I'll just maximize this slightly so we can just see the batch banning or the banning window itself. Now, from here, if subtitle edit did not or your subtitle file is not in the same folder as your video, you can just select the video and right click on it and then pick a subtitle file or remove a subtitle to replace it with whatever subtitle you want to have in your video. Now, next up, if everything is okay here, you need to set the output file or folder and I'll click on this. And from here, you can save in source file folder or a custom folder. So you can say save in output folder below. You can click here or click on these three dots to set out where you want your subtitles to actually go. Next up, the suffix by default here is new, but I'd like to keep it as band in so that I can know that subtitles are banned into that particular video. Now, this is going to be at the end of your videos and I'll click on OK. If everything is OK right inside here and actually let me change the output folder to the source. Sorry about that click OK. And it's always good that it's giving you an indication where you have set the videos to go or the videos and the subtitles to be banned in. I'll click on OK, save in source folder, and it's this particular folder. And because I'm satisfied, all I need to do is just click on generate. Once I click on generate, you'll get uh, more or less the time remaining and one of three. And once it's done, you'll get a converted. For each and every video, as they complete banning in the subtitles to the video. So there we go. We're in the last and final video. And uh, let us see the results that we're going uh, to get uh, right inside here. Uh, yeah. 
and you'll see uh, a conversion report dialog box showing you the videos and uh, where they are and it's three videos converted in 34 seconds so if you had a ton of videos you can actually pre-populate them right inside here and they're going to be banned in to your videos the way you want them now let's go back to our folder and you can see you have new files clip 3 banding we also have this one banding and this one banding if i just play this one in this tutorial you'll see that we have the subtitle with more or less of an outline what we have selected right inside here to have an outline of six and the text is bold uh, and so on and so forth so that's a good thing uh, right here reading from a script yeah so it looks good and there's one that we have here that has if you look at this the ass uh, let's go to the folder this one should be this one i believe yes in this now you can see it takes the font and the font for this particular ass subtitle is monteserrata so you can see it conforms to that particular font and the reason why uh, the ASS subtitle file is uh, a little bit superior or more superior to SRT is because you can have your own styling, you can do different repositionings, especially when you want to batch burn in subtitles uh, to your videos. Uh, so you can use uh, ASS subtitle uh, to have different styles, different fonts and so on and so forth. So those are kind of differences and maybe my recommendation for batch burning in you should have maybe uh, your subtitles in ASS subtitle style and or subtitle format and you have the style set the way you want them to be if you want to have subtitles in the lower third section uh, maybe when there's some text uh, down there the subtitle goes up it's all up to you but that is something you can do easily in subtitle edit uh, so that is how you can batch burn in uh, subtitles to multiple videos at once uh, go try it out see how it works out for you it's a really really good addition to subtitle edit how this video is of value to you thank you so much for watching